you ever wondered how it's possible to grow up in Israel, to join the army and treat Palestinians the way they are treated, I want you to listen to this very important interview from a woman named Abigail Abarbanel. While she was born and raised in Israel and joined the army, it wasn't until she lived in Australia for 10 years for her to realize she was brainwashed to hate Palestinians. Now she's a psychotherapist and an activist for Palestinian rights and listen to what she had to say. Apart from wiping out Hamas, What's Israel's main aim here? Would they occupy more territory, given the scenes that we're seeing today, which reminds many of the Nakba? Well, to answer your question, it's important to look at context, and the context is very rarely mentioned in the media. <clears throat> Israel is the product of the Zionist movement, and the plan of the Zionist movement was always to create an exclusively Jewish state on all of Palestine. In order to do that, you have to remove the non-Jewish indigenous people. That's the plan, and that's never actually changed. The Nakba was an attempt to make it happen, but back then Israel was unable to get rid of all the Palestinians, and the 750,000 people that were ethnically cleansed ended up in places like Gaza and around the Middle East. Um, what you see now is nothing special in a way, it is a continuation of the same thing. I don't think the, the words settler colonialism are mentioned enough in the media. And so when your viewers, when people are watching this, they're trying to understand